All right, everyone. Welcome to part four of the um, lab assignment five, the Ondo four x four house. All right, so we're gonna start putting in the large panes of glass, and um, usually in a situation like this, because these are slightly more complex shapes, um, what you want to do is be able to kind of get the outline of the shape, so you can sort of work on it on the side, and then once you're done, kind of move it back in. I really try not to like draw in here because there's like it's hard um, to get a good snap on things and all of that so you can either basically try to trace this outline um, or um, sometimes I just basically use the uh, dupe edge you know command duplicate edge and just like go by go through and you know maybe pick some of the lines that I know are the broad boundaries of I want to get right Enter to complete it, and just like while it's still selected, you know, drag it to the side, and you'll know, okay, that's what I'm trying to do. And here, once you're here, and sort of clean things up a little, uh, the ones that are too long, and join up. And to kind of finish that, you actually might want to go to one of your other views. So I select it and uh, kind of zoom select. Okay, yeah, this is a orthogonal view that I can know okay that's actually going to join and join it together all right so that's the front so I actually might want to change this to uh, the back view so it matches that so basically uh, we're going to actually use this and um, subdivide it uh, into equal three different panes and here I'm just going to draw a line down the middle like that um, and um, actually let's just explode this whole thing so I want these to be individual um, rectangles right this will need to be its own rectangle that's in its own rectangle so I'll use the split command split select object to split which is these two enter so that cutting object is this middle one, and basically it cuts this into two, right? Uh, I'll join these, extend this so it goes over there, trim this off, use my line tool to draw another segment there. So yeah, I have four sides here, so one, two, right? Basically that's what you're trying to do, line, same thing. Okay. One, two, three. All right. Same thing. Offset. Um, let's see. So these, I think, will make them a lot thicker and larger since they're so big. Um, let's do a distance of six centimeters. Offset them inwards. Right click, go in, right, okay. All right, extrude six centimeters as well. And then, you know, remember that uh, the sort of lines or the curves are still there, right? So you can select the curves. So I'm zooming in, trying to select the curves. So I have the three sort of back curves, inside curves selected. And then switch over to the glass layer, extrude it three centimeters, delete the curves. All right, so selecting the geometry that you have, group it, and just move it back in. It probably helps to just like find a good angle. Okay, and let's move that back maybe 12 centimeters as well. Hmm, what happened there? Oh, okay. I grabbed the wrong line there. Yeah, it's no big deal. Um, 
So this is, should have been a lot skinnier, basically. Um, but here, what I'll do is I'll just I'll group everything, and um, using the same technique we used earlier, new face, and uh, you have to pick both that face and both of these faces, right? So all the faces both on the glass and the million. Enter. And just sort of shift it out. Like that. Right? So we group that. Group that. Group that. Alright? So that's three. As you can see, I mean there's different ways to solve the same problem. Well, it just depends. All right, let's come around to the other side, and um, if we look at the images, let's see, okay. So there's a big cross in the center here, there's a cross here, and then there's like one little segment in there, and that's more or less it um, for that thing. So the same thing, um, we're just trying to get the outside dimensions on this. Three, four. I'm pretty sure that these are the right ones. Whoops. Change the option there. So, turn, turn that off. Turn that off. All right. If you're new, you're going to be doing some of that editing. Just you know. Go to a, one of these orthogonal views. It'll make your life easier. So I'm going to draw um, from midpoint to midpoint across like that. Offset it distance with three because I'm going to offset it twice. Once in that direction and once in the other direction. All right. So I'm just sort of right clicking to redo the command. Delete that central one. So like that trim. Take that out. Okay. You'll have to close the edges. Um, so I have to draw in these little short segments. I'm trying to keep that uh, overall. So select that and that. So you're getting everything that you can join together. So that's the cross that you're trying to get. Um, and uh, I'll also just like draw in rectangles uh, for this. Uh, okay. Mirror it twice. Once vertically, once horizontally. And you're set. Okay. Middle cross extrude six. Delete the curve. Outside panes of glass extrude. Uh, change your layer to the glass three. And then delete. So you delete the original curves. So let's check. Is this in the right direction? No. So, one, two, three, whoops, way four. Let's move this backwards. I think it should be in the middle in the real thing. Um, in the real thing, this is actually probably deeper. So maybe let's just move this face back. Another, I don't know, let's say three. So it looks like this. Control G. Move, uh, let's snap to the upper right corner there. Snap to the upper right corner here. And let's move it back, I don't know, 12. Something like that. I'm sort of winging it, but you know, that's basically what you want to do there. So for the bottom part, um, basically the same. I'll trace it this time. So we use the polyline tool. 
actually it's like that, yeah. Trace the outside, that, come down. Be careful in the sort of snaps. You just want to use the perpendicular snap here. And continue that down. All right, so this curve, I ended it accidentally, but same difference is the outline. Now, this is going to be separated into two, right? So it's actually really just this rectangle. So extend that. Um, I will actually split this with this. All right, so close this curve, make it that, and join these two. All right, same thing, uh, so I'll fast forward this. All right, something like that. Um, that's the exteriors, more or less finished. Uh, okay, yeah, there's one thing here uh, that I forgot. Um, let's see, where are my plans? So there's this uh, <clears throat> sort of shading thing. Uh, let's see, it's on here. This sort of shading thing. Um, that we haven't drawn in, and if you you can actually kind of see there, uh, there's a slight taper to it, right? So, so this is coming out of the wall 80 centimeters, and the width is the same as the door, so that's pretty easy to fix. Um, okay. So let's uh, just make a box down here, snap to the ends, uh, whoops, oops, and change this to the uh, wall layer, right, it's negative uh, 15. Okay, now we can hide that. All right, now the taper, uh, this is 15 thick at the end. We want to taper it down to 10 over there. It's really easy. Move edge instead of face. Pick this edge, enter, and just like, you'll see that it wants to go horizontal, right? So in the direction constraint, you can click it and then say vertical and that will make it go vertical, All right? So I'll do it again. Move edge, select the edge, enter, and click on the corner. And uh, basically in the direction constraint, instead of none or whatever these, just to say vertical. And then go down negative five, All right? That'll give you a little bit of a taper. And uh, let's move it down, oops negative five as well all right so there that's that you can decide if you want to kind of join it a group with with this it really doesn't make a difference okay so all the exteriors i think uh, are done that's done exteriors are done all right all right so now for the annoying part uh the stairs all right so for the stairs, I'm actually just going to hide most of these walls, which I hide. 
just so we can kind of see them better. And maybe just close the, those windows. Turn on your plan lines. Okay, I make a new layer. Stairs. Uh, let's make it dark green, just so it's easier to see. Okay. So um, we know that uh, according to the plan, which I think I turned the annotations off, so let's turn that on. According to the plan, this side is up, right? So the stairs are going, going up over there. You'll have a landing here and then switch back, right? So these are switch back stairs like that. So the first order of business is actually to kind of draw out uh, the landing that's at the corner here. So let's make the stair layer active. Uh, the first thing you want to do is actually find where the landing goes, right? And if these are equal switchback stairs, which they are, uh, it should be at the midpoint of the height difference between your floor to floor height, right? So the first thing I do here is actually just to draw a line like this and then copy it vertical, right? Make do V spacebar. Copy it vertically to the next sort of floor. And actually just we'll just do it for the next couple of floors as well. Okay. Now this should be equal, right? Alright. What I want to do is I find that actually the midpoint between these two. So copy it and then just snap to the midpoint. So this should actually be the height of where your uh, stair platform is gonna go. Okay, and so you can draw the outline of the sort of landing on the ground. Uh, so we'll just use a simple uh, rectangular plane. There to there. All right, select it. And uh, basically you want to move it onto that sort of height, right? So that's the top. So move vertical, M spacebar, V spacebar. And then click on that using the elevator mode, snap to that sort of line. So that's the right height for it. So now we want to figure out the sort of heights for each and every step, right? I mean, you can do the math, but there's geometry. So I'm going to draw a line from here uh, to here perpendicular. Make sure it's perpendicular or mid to mid. So this I'm going to divide. So how many treads are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So seven treads, divide it by seven, seven segments, okay? And I'll make it give you these points, right? So that's the height of your tread. Now you have the depth of the tread here. So let's combine these two. I am going to just draw a line from here to here to get the tread length or depth and move it over here draw a line and you gotta get the height good okay so we're gonna join that so basically if you copy this down a couple times making sure to kind of snap to the bottom right until it reaches the ground. Uh, yeah, the walls are good. Okay, yeah. And I mean, you can do this on the side view if you want. I'm just lazy. <laughs> Join release. Pull this up to the side so you can see a little better. So that is. Um, that's the configuration of the stair. Now we're going to have to try to kind of give it some thickness, right? Um, as in, uh, like a real reinforced concrete uh, poured stair. So, this I'm actually going to extend one more. So, I'm going to explore that again. Um, copy that down. And then, this actually wants to go in one more as well. 
copy that over. So then I draw basically a diagonal line here, like that, okay? And I'm gonna move it one set in. And this is sort of uh, changeable, right? Um, and I'm gonna connect basically these ends. So I get a side profile like that. Join it. Uh, I'm gonna leave that there, uh, but let's just copy this over to this intersection point. Just to kind of see where it goes. You know. And this we can trim off later if we want to. So let's extrude that to this width. This uh, we want to extrude surface downwards, just the depth of one step, and then you can kind of delete that. Right? Doesn't matter if it overlaps right now. We're just trying to get the things uh, sort of into place. All right, we have to move it back one step, or basically kind of align it with the edge of the platform on like that. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to copy it out, rotate it uh, 180 degrees. So it goes the other direction, right? And then basically try to snap this to the bottom of that stair. And if we did that right, this should basically snap and match the other side. Right? That's what the stair should be. Now, this is just like I overshoot it just so I know eventually I know that I can basically cut it off or whatever. <clears throat> this as well. All right. So here I can actually just use this as a trimming plane, TR. Cutting objects is uh, this poly surface, uh, object to trim, this, okay? So actually I'll just do that. Um, there might be a hole, so you can cap it if you want to, just to kind of cap that back. Um, same thing with this sort of bottom part. Uh, let's see, we might actually leave that just to see what happens upstairs. So I'll take this. I know that the, probably like the first two are probably the same. So let's just copy this upwards uh, using, let's see, what should we use? Probably this corner. And then go up again. Might be a little tricky. Uh, make sure you're snapping at the right thing. And see if there's anything that looks out of place or really wrong. Uh, I think, yeah, the sort of width of the wall changes here. So the stair actually needs to shift a little up here where the um, shifting happens. That's easy to fix. Okay, so here we'll actually have to move this a little bit to the left. Let's move that, shove that over. Okay, that's right. And that's that. Okay, so what you can do here with this if you don't like that, um, same thing, right? Trim using the volume and then clicking on this leftover stuff. What you'll be left with is, is that, and it can be embedded inside, or you can uh, trim it again using the volume. And um, if you kind of switch to like a ghosted view, or actually x-ray, uh, you can pick this, and it will trim it off exactly to that, except for that little thing, which is called planar, but you know, 
Um, yeah, and uh, the thing is, if you're really bothered by that sort of thing, I can you can just say, well, let's take that, explode it, and while everything's still like highlighted, right? Um, you just hold down the control key to deselect just that, and then just join everything back again. Okay, so that sequence, don't break it, but you know, so that makes it easy, and uh, obviously you can cap that. All right, so it caps. Uh, let me turn off all the plan lines. <laughs> so that looks right. That, uh, let's see, the floor slabs on, you know. But like, like, like you just saw, you can always use the floor slabs to trim stuff off. That you think is overlapping, right? And even this sort of front surface, right? So you're left with just that. And just remember to cap it if you want. So then I can take obviously take these three Boolean union and merge all the faces, right? which cleans it up. And you will have a nice clean switchbacks there, like that. Right, and you can do the same to these guys. So this side of the floor sub actually looks like we need to go one step further. So we'll just simply use a new face command to uh, pull that in and snap it to there, right? And do the same thing. Just trim that off. Tap it. So da da da. All right, let's uh, show everything back using posted view with closed windows. Let's turn the windows off. So, yeah, that looks roughly right. I'm not sure what actually happened at this, that sort of corner um, in real life. Uh, it actually might be the walls are slightly misaligned um, in the drawings, but that's okay for now. All right, so this is what your model wants to uh, look like eventually. So you can delete this, delete that, and you can delete all this stuff. Right, one quick way to do that is just to go here you know, and you know, select all curves. So if there are no curves, then there's nothing. Right, um, all my plan lines are hidden, obviously. All right, now uh, you finish your model. So there's uh, two requirements, or one sort of extra requirement in the assignment is to do uh, two sort of section cut models. And to do that, basically, Usually, you know, just make uh, two duplicates of it. All right. And um, you'll see that there are some situations where, like, you know, uh, in the assignment, we say to use either the wire cut or the uh, split command. And you'll see why sometimes I use one or the other. Um, just sort of uh, draw a line on the ground. Maybe wherever okay and um, I just usually extrude this upwards and move it down a little bit maybe oh that's the line uh, move it down a little bit maybe and this is the sort of water cut line I use the plane just to kind of help me 
So to visualize where I'm cutting is in this case, I kind of want it to be just past the wall, looking inwards, uh, roughly there, yeah. Okay, so that's just like help me see where the cut is going to happen a little better. Um, obviously you can kind of uh, look at it in the plan view if you want. Uh, fine tune it, uh, move it maybe a little closer, like that, yeah. Okay, uh, so let's go back to the perspective. Uh, we can maybe hide this for now. And if you use the wire cut command, wire cut, select the cutting curve, and then select objects to cut, enter. Uh, just sort of pull this upwards. Uh, keep all no, both sides no, and go this way to towards the side you want to cut out. So to do that, it'll say parts to cut away, enter to accept. And so enter, and it takes some away automatically. Now you'll see what happened here uh, in particular is that, well, there should be stairs here, right? And basically I think like those stairs were, uh, maybe the geometry wasn't closed sort of correctly or completely, and so they got uh, cut out. And so that'll happen sometimes with uh, with the wire cut command. And so, I mean, at least in this case, uh, they are relatively similar. I think although the least is shifted a little bit, um, they should be relatively similar. So you can just like copy that down and um, maybe trim this off. Trim off that poly surface, so just like that. Okay, cap it, cap it. All right, and that's what you want. Uh, we just want to make sure that okay, all the sort of poche edges are filled in. Okay. Uh, can show the plane, move it over. This time, let's uh, go to the top view. This time, let's cut a little bit in toward, yeah, somewhere over here towards the center. All right. And uh, this time, I'm actually just going to use the split. Uh, so split, select objects to split, uh, all of those, enter. So that cutting objects, the cutting plane that I have. Make sure that it's sort of extending up and down across the sort of bounds of your model. And I'll do that. Now, um, this is where I usually go back to the top view and just sort of select everything and just go go just past the your cutting plane to select everything and delete it away. Now you'll see this. This is because, uh, remember, all those sort of uh, panes of glass were on groups, right? Uh, and that's why they're not being sort of taken out because the group is still there. But you'll see that the cut has happened, right? So if you actually just uh, select all these guys and, whoops, select all these guys and ungroup them, so ungroup, then you'll see that you'll actually be able to select them. Uh, the pieces individually and delete them. And if this is still there, then just ungroup it again. Probably you just have like some nested groups in there. So to ungroup this again. Okay, so that's a clean uh, cutting plane. Now these you will have to cap. So just select everything cap. Uh, since the geometry is a lot more simpler, they shouldn't have any, there shouldn't be any problem with this. Okay, um, I think everything's in here, so I will actually just kind of make it easier to see, rotate this right degrees, rotate this. Right degrees.
so the section cuts are sort of facing me all right and uh, yeah Move it a little closer and so this is what you should uh, be something like that you can do other different cuts if you want uh, but this is what you should be submitting for this assignment basically this